Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, New Black Unicorn, Tammy. So today I'm coming to you because Jacqueline Hill has come out with another palette. On the one hand, I was like, no, nah, I don't want no fungus, no hairs, no nothing in my makeup. But it's in collaboration with Morphe, and I haven't heard anything bad about Morphe. And I did love the first palette, so I said, well, you know what? I will come on, and I will purchase this palette, and I will show you guys what I did with it. Now, for a point of reference, I may pull out her first palette and just kind of do a comparison. The color scheme is completely completely different like completely different so i ain't gonna talk this whole time i know it's valentine's you getting ready let's get into it okay i'm back so i ended up having to take off the primer and then add some moisturizer on my lids because this primer the anastasia primer is very drying like my my eyes were starting to peel so i'm just Kind of open up the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's beautiful. It's super beautiful. It's no miracle. Don't worry about being blinded. Super beautiful. When I first heard she was coming out with a palette, like again, like I said, I, I wasn't sure about sure about it. But then when I seen it, I was like, hey, so I have no idea what I'm gonna do. So the first shade I'm going to is Perfectionist, which is, oh, it's got some dust kicking back. Right here, Perfectionist. Ooh. And I am just gonna start kind of patting that in. And you may hear cars and stuff, who knows? So, I have not posted in a while. I think I'm the most inconsistent poster. And it's just because I'm going to be real with y'all. YouTube is not my job. Like, I love makeup. It's a very fun hobby for me. But I'll be having to get other things done. Plus, I was sick. I got a sinus infection. If anyone lives in Texas, then you know this weather has been up and down, up and down, up and down. And... I just don't fare well with that type of weather. So, it, I mean, these shades are a little powdery, or at least this one right here. Maybe. If this palette is going in anybody makeup kit, please do not do what I just did because you are blowing your hot breath germs on the palette and then you're gonna put it on somebody's face. That's a no-go, all right? So the next shade I'm gonna go into is Filling Myself, which is this shade right here. And I'm going in with the same brush. And so what I was told, ooh. And I, ooh, y'all, oh my God, For once. For freaking once, YouTubers weren't lying. It's good. Wow, the shade is showing up and showing the heck out. Oh my goodness, can y'all see that? Look at this. Somebody come look at this. Boom. Okay, and this is feeling myself. This, I, let's be real. When you are a person of color, no matter what you are, Y'all know these shades do not be, they don't be popping. They don't. They don't. It be as flat as that tire when your tire pressure light come on, okay? But you already knew something in that tire. You just, you just was rough. So, I am, I'm impressed. Like again, I don't know where I'm going with this look, but here we are, here we are. So I'm just gonna blend this out just a little bit. It's still keeping the shade, even though I'm blending it out, so. I know everyone been doing pink looks. I mean, I may just end up wearing this little top right here, so there's no need for me to do a pink. But, I will throw some red in here. So the next shade I'm gonna go into is Heart On, which is this shade right here. 
both of them you can see. And I'm going in with the same brush. So I'm one of those lazy uh, eyeshadow doers that try to use minimum brushes. Like I be seeing some people be like, I'm just gonna use these brushes right here. And I'm like, who the hell gonna clean all those? Who's cleaning all those brushes? Not me, not, not, no, I'm not, mm-mm. Nope, not happening. And so I'm just going into my crease. Now I will need to use a smaller brush because I, I can see that's not quite, that's not quite working out. That's the only time I can really justify using like three, four, five brushes. Maybe not five. Is when you need smaller brushes to really kind of get in there. Now when you have hooded eyes, that's just me. When your eyes have like this crease that fold right there, you need to back away sometimes and kind of look straight into the mirror to see if you're seeing the same thing. Because you can put down all this work, but then when you look up, it's like, bye, it's gone. So make sure you take a step back, you look and verify that the colors are still there. And so this color is showing up really good. Now in this palette, it does have pigments and I asked the lady like, okay, I I like makeup, but I don't know everything. What the world is pigments? What's the difference between shadows? So she was telling me with the pigments, it is more, it's gonna sound dumb. <laughs> it's more pigmented. Blah! And so whatever they use on shadows to kind of dull it out, they don't use on the pigment. So it's pretty much like you're getting the raw product. And so I told her like with the Novena palette, some of them were saying it wasn't eye safe. And she was just like, that's because they have to put that statement because the pigments can stain the lid. So I was like, oh, okay. So it was, it's not about like, you know, chemicals getting into my eyes or anything. And she was like, no, it's not like that. I use it all the time. I use it in my makeup kit. It's just that these may stain your eyes. So then I was like, well, how the hell am I supposed to get this off my eye? Because I could barely get it off my hand when I had swatched it. And she she introduced me to some little rag soap. You know what? Let me pull it out. Let me show you what this lady told me to get. Um, It's called a makeup eraser. It erased all makeup with just water. And it looks like this. So this is what she told me to get. It was $20. So she said, just with water, you can throw it on and be done. So the next shade I think I'm gonna go into because I'm gonna start to darken up this look a little bit is Nets, which is this shade right here. Um, so as I was saying, I am not the most consistent uploader, but when I do upload something, this is the style in which you're gonna get it. I'm not gonna do a lot of editing just because sometimes you don't catch on when people are just snapping and zooming and whatever else people are coming up with to do these videos. Um, and me, I'm not an expert. And so I'm speaking to the people who are non-experts who go on YouTube to gain some help and advice on how to slap this makeup on without looking like a cake face, looking good, fooling somebody's child. Y'all, y'all, look, look, look at it. I'm gonna just kind of blend a little bit. I do want to invest in a little eye patches thing where you can kind of make sure it's like a straight line. And I'm sure it's something that I can just get from my local whatever store right now i'm just going back into filling myself just to kind of blend it out but not what i just did make sure there's no harsh lines and like the shades are just pretty much milking into each other so next we need to do some shimmer i love the way empowered look and i love the way paleo look Oh, that's probably not, that's probably not the way to say it, but I'm gonna show y'all. Um, I love Dance Party. I don't know what shade to go in with. Okay, I'll tell you what. We're gonna use Empowered, Dance Party, and Flawed It All. 
So we're gonna go in with the with the red, which is living my best. So right here is living my best. We're gonna go in with that shade and I may use a smaller brush, but first I'm gonna use this one because I'm going with another shade. And I'm just gonna put it right here. Oh, okay. And I'm do the same thing to the other side, right here. And then next I'm gonna go in with Empower It, which is this shade right here. Just to kind of soften it up as we hit. Honey, that shade is pressed in, baby. Pressed all the way in. Now they do have some pressed glitter. I don't too much care for press pressed glitter just because it's hard to get it out of the pan when you start to dig in there. Um, this palette does retail for thirty nine dollars. Sound like Jackie Adam, Jackie Ina. Oh my gosh, thirty nine dollars, which is not a bad price for a palette. I'm gonna be honest with you. It was between this and the, the Tasha, Natasha Denona palette, and I don't know. I just wasn't feeling the new palette that she came out with. Although I do, do, do love her formulas. I just felt like mm, not this time. So the next shade I'm going with, I'm gonna go in with a different brush. All the brushes I've been using is by Morphe. This is the Morphe 441, which is the first brush. This is the Morphe. I don't really know because I don't use it so much. But run up in Morphe, show them this, take a picture, say this is what I want, okay? And this one is the Morphe. <laughs> I don't know because I don't I don't wear these brushes out, but this is what it looked like. Just run up in the store and tell them this what you want, and they'll find it for you. So I'm gonna go in with flawed and all. I do think some of the names of these eyeshadows are kind of weird, or weird to me because I don't know the backstory. But you could just tell that baby girl going through some things. I kind of feel bad for her if I'm being honest, just because she catch a lot of heat. And I don't know if all of it is warranted, but I do know she tried to come at the people who tried to tell her her stuff wasn't right. So I don't know. I get both sides. I don't have nothing against her per se. So here we are. Alrighty. So I know it looks kind of sunset-ish. So one way that we can make it look even more Valentine's and as you can tell, I have lash extensions. I I feel like I have a love-hate relationship with lash extensions because they look beautiful, like really beautiful. But when you're doing eyeshadow, sometimes they can be, be a bit of a pain, in my opinion. So next, I'm going to go in with my concealer. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. And I'm going to create my wing with the concealer to kind of make it look more Valentine's for the ones out there who do celebrate valentine's i am not the one i tell you that right now not because i'm bitter and single but because i don't think i ever really celebrated valentine's i didn't get it per se just because i expect my men to send me flowers all the time well not flowers anybody who know me know i'm not a flowers person you can send me some food for sure. So next shade I'm going in with is Tipsy Girl, which is this bright pink shade right here. And then I'm just going to pack that on where I put the concealer. Hopefully you guys are seeing this. Because I know I see it. And boom. And we could be together, baby. And then, of course, you can clean this up with your, you know, makeup wipe or whatever you use to clean up your stuff with. So that's why I'm not trying to be all perfect. I don't care. Don't worry, I'm going to clean it up. All right. 
So we're gonna dip back into the palette when we do our under eye. But right now, I'm just gonna clean it up. I went all in with that line, y'all. That's okay. I will say one thing that I'm noticing that I don't have any fallout. Even though in the palette, like when I was like pressing, pressing on the pressing, you guys, you gotta excuse me. When I was pressing on the um, on the shades, it was like kind of powdery. I don't see it like on my face per se. So that's nice. Although it's not like I expect palettes to not have any fallout. I don't really care. Long as your whole, long as the whole thing isn't on my face, I'm fine. So if you want to skip for it because I am about to do my makeup, that is completely fine. Sure loss. All right, you guys, I am back. All I did was put on my head wrap, add a little extra to the brows just to make them a little bit thicker but that was about it so like i said when i went into morphe i did end up purchasing some glosses um the first one is gypsy looks like this the next one is backstage looks like this then we have pop which is this pink shade and then we have chill which is this lighter nude shade so you know i was still you know I gotta put something on my lips, y'all. I can't walk out like this, now. Come on. I ain't that trifling, okay? So when you have, when your eyes are doing the most, you really don't want to bring that much attention to anything else but your eyes. So I'm just keeping real neutral on the lips. I love glosses. It's just to me, I feel like glosses make you look so sexy, like. I don't know. It just make your whole everything pop. And then I'm going to put, so the first one I put on is backstage and I'm going to put pop in the middle. Of this. It is like a pinkish shade. So if you cannot afford Fenty and her glosses because they are like 20 something dollars, just go to Morphe. I'm just being honest. Um, or NYX, that's another option as well. You don't have to spend your last on a gloss. I can see if it was a foundation. Then, then you have to make some sacrifices, okay? So yeah, um, not really doing a lot with the lips, per se. Just trying to make sure it's spread. It's not super thick, so it's not gonna create that white line, which is really, really good. So now, what do I think about this palette? And let me pull out her old palette or her older palette. So this was the first one. Um, I played in it some, not a whole, whole lot. You see I made a dent in a few places, literally a dent. Y'all know it was my fingernail that did that. And so these are two side by side. So in this one, she does list the shade names like right underneath, but on the first palette, she listed on the back of the palette. I do like having the names listed underneath. And the formula is really, really good. I wanna say I like the formula in the second palette more than the first one, but yeah. Um, I think the shades are super blendable. Um, super beautiful they show up as you can see like oh my gosh it is beautiful i don't can't say much about this pressed glitter i can pick it up with my finger though so that's nice it kind of reminds me of rihanna trophy wife it's cute or whatever Okay, just blended it out. Don't want to look like no fool. Um, this is a really nice palette. Um, I know she's been in the media for all the wrong things as of late, but this is really good. 
more fair you gonna let that stuff pass so it's a really good palette if you do not have the shades then i definitely would recommend it some people were saying color pop what was the name of it i can't something or take me somewhere all the above okay i'm just i'm just playing out i don't know what the name of it but some people are saying colourpop has a, a palette that's similar to this i did went and look at the palette um there were a few similarities but overall i was just like mm, i'd rather just get this palette so i just end up getting it if i had to look at my makeup collection um anything that i think would compare to these this bright would probably be like um the makeup revolution um, in collaboration with Tammy, her Carnival palette. That was a nice palette. It has a lot of brights in it, but I don't think it's comparable to this palette per se. So I will swatch some shades, not all, some, just because the swatches I was seeing was more on like lighter tones or white people. And I just want other people to know like what these shades will look like. So the first shade I'm gonna swatch is the yellow. I know people were kind of concerned about the yellow because yellow doesn't really show up. And I don't know if you can see. You can't really see it. Okay, hold on. Oh my god. Okay, now you can see it. I think I don't think these really this the eyeshadow swatched very well. Or at least that didn't swatch very well. Next shade, let's see another shade. Oh hello. Let's swatch oh hello. Oh, okay. So they're showing up. Um, Tipsy Girl, which I have on. Whoa, that swatch very well. And the swatch don't mean much. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, you really need to see like what that shade look like on your lid, on your skin tone. But I mean, that does look beautiful. I'll swatch Therapy Sheesh. I hope that's a good thing. Ain't nothing wrong with therapy. If you need therapy, Go get you some, okay? And that's that one. Um, let's see. I'll swatch. What's this say? Lolly Mama. Okay. Like I said, some of these names I'm not too sure about. But that's this right here. So very pretty, bright shades. Do I feel like this is an everyday palette? It can be because I feel like you can see this. Is what I mean by the pigments, I'm wiping it off, and it's like not going anywhere. See, and that's why they say maybe not eye safe because it does stain. Um, but I did put down a primer, so hopefully that helps with staining. Maybe I'll do a pen comment just to see if it does. But would I recommend this palette? Yes, I would. I would recommend this palette. I haven't purchased anything from Morphe in a long time, but um, I really think this is a nice palette. The first row is pretty much like your neutrals. You don't need neutrals, whether you have brights or whatever. Second row is pretty good. Um, some shimmers going on. I do like the shimmers. The shimmer showed up pretty good on my eyes. Um, next row, we have some oranges. I was kind of concerned with these three colors right here because I'm just like, that looks very similar. I was thinking the brows look very similar right here. But when I swatched it, it was not. It, it was all different. You can really see the difference. Um, you have purples. I mean, mainly if you buy this palette, you need to like purple, pink, orange, red. It's like kind of one red-ish but it's kind of burgundy so you need to like burgundy and then i think a lot of people like natural tones so like i said is this like a necessity no none of this makeup is a necessity let's be for real sunblock and that's not makeup that's skincare um but i like it 39 dollars. if you have the 39 dollars plus tax definitely swing by a morphe store or right now i think it's only sold in the morphe store and online I think it's coming to Ulta on March the 3rd, and it's coming to Sephora Canada. So if you live in Canada, it will be coming to you fairly soon. I want to say February 28th. But other than that, thank you guys for coming. I hope you enjoy it. And let me move in.